making choices smoothly, using prefer to express your likes and dislikes. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating area of conversational English, expressing your likes and dislikes in a neutral manner. We're focusing specifically on how to use the verb prefer to express your choices. This is a powerful and polite tool that can make your English sound more nuanced and natural. Prefer is a verb we use to say that we like one thing or activity more than another. We often use it in sentences like, I prefer tea to coffee, meaning, I like tea more than coffee. This is a simple but important structure to grasp. Prefer, plus, noun, pronoun, gerund, plus, to, plus, noun, pronoun, gerund. Remember, when talking about actions or activities, we use gerunds, which are the ing forms of verbs. For example, I prefer reading to watching TV. Now, let's expand our understanding and see the different ways we can use prefer. You can use prefer to compare two things directly or to express a general preference. For instance, I prefer cats to dogs is a direct comparison, while I prefer quiet evenings at home is a general preference. Sometimes we use would prefer to talk about specific situations or actions we want to happen in the future. This form is often used with a to infinitive. For instance, I would prefer to leave early. Just like any other verb, prefer can be used in questions and negative statements too. If you want to ask about someone's preference, you might say, do you prefer tea or coffee? And to express a negative preference, you could say, I don't prefer loud music at night. Let's get some practice using prefer. I'll give you some sample sentences and you can create your own examples in the comments. 1. I prefer ice cream to cake. 2. She prefers playing tennis to watching it. 3. Would you prefer to meet in the morning or in the afternoon? 4. They don't prefer the heat of summer. Remember, the best way to learn is to practice. So, don't be shy. Share your examples. Well, that wraps up our discussion on using prefer to express your choices in a neutral way. I hope this has been helpful and enlightening for you. Remember, using prefer can add a touch of subtlety to your English expressions. Practice it in your conversations, and soon, it will become second nature. Thank you for joining me today. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we will continue exploring the delightful world of English. Until then, keep practicing.